What is going on guys, today we are looking at Lozano Shapeshifter, the 94 rated card, and he looks phenomenal. If you're tired of... If you're tired of coming up against teams that want to rip your hair out every single day, make sure you check u7buy.com for the most reliable and cheapest coins on the market. And at checkout, make sure you hit that JT11 for 5% off your order, and hopefully, you have a good day. So, going into him then, as we see this Mexico come out, the striker, Lozano. 99 pace, 94 shooting, 96 dribbling, looks absolutely incredible. He is coming in at an 86 and an 85 rated SBC. Nothing too crazy, but I feel like he's definitely worth it. Coming in quite cheap, um, if obviously you've done a lot of fodder cards, then definitely he's one that is most affordable alongside the mini release that we'll be having a look. So, make sure you stay tuned and like and subscribe by the end of the video. High low 5'9 with a right foot. He's got outside of the foot trait as well as having maxed out pace. Dribbling looks pretty content as well. Good amount of stamina. Shooting's looking very good. And I believe marksman is the way to go with him. It makes sure that shooting goes up to 98. His dribbling goes to 99. And he also gets the physicality bonus from 80 to 85. Turning him into a 97 left wing, left forward, right forward, right wing, center forward, or a 96 cam or a 95. Five striker. We're going to be using him in the Shapeshifters Cup today, so hopefully he looks pretty good up top there. There's plenty of good Napoli players that we'll be looking at as we go through him. So let's jump into Chucky and see what this man can do for us. Going to find Zidane through. We've got Chucky chilling over here. It's a great block from Militao. He read the pass. I thought we may have just been in front of him by then, but unfortunately he cannot get the run there. Get the ball to Chucky. Going to find Liao down the side here, looking for that ball to him back. He stopped running, which, again, some strikers do. I know, obviously, he is, what, a right wing to start with. And he normally has quite a few nice informs that, to be fair, his pace normally is one of the, the big keys. He's normally very acceleration driven, which should be very, very nice for a striker card. He's offside there. We don't need to run with him there, but should do quite well up front. I can imagine he's going to be able to hit in behind all of them spots from the defender's point of view. So that should be a nice striker to, to kind of get on with to Chucky. Looking for the, Liz, the Zidane link. Goes with the left foot. Misses out there. Back into Chucky. Goes in for a Garincha move. Looking for that partnership there. He's just on the edge. Finds him with a one bang. And that is a beautiful shot from Lozano. Lozano with some very, very nice skills. As we've found out. Normally pretty good on the dribble. Left stick is looking pretty good for him. Little one-two. Outside. Good block from Ruben. Gets the header. Very nice. Want to see him back in that striking role as we see him here. Find him in and behind. Keeper's looking to come out, going for a little bit of a spin. There it is, inside, and again, this guy's not going to tackle him. He knows that he wants him to go for that shot, looking for maybe just somebody to overexert themselves, maybe go for a tackle, and just so he could counter it. But unfortunately, the guy's defending's pretty good so far. And again, into Chucky, he's looking for that Richarlison run. He's just going to loft it into him. Want to see how quickly he wants to get forward. Can we get it back into him here? Little chop, and it's just blocked again. Lozano finds it back to him. Cuts it across, and at the minute, AI has been absolutely wonderful for him. Pings from distance, and Lozano again showing what he's worth there. Beautiful finesse from outside the box. Done very, very well on the ball. I'd be interested to see what sort of price he's coming in at. 85, 86 really shouldn't be that much, especially with no informs or no team of the seasons required, which is always fantastic. Oh, there it is. He's tried the offside trap. He knows that's not going to do anything for him. Little dink up. Volley. I don't know why we went for the volley, but offside anyway. <laughs> Into Lozano. 1-2 with Richarlison again if we can. Chuki. Oh, off the line. How lucky was that one? Oh, easy goal here. Going to just dink it into Lozano if we could. Thank you very much. Second goal for him. Pace has been absolutely incredible from him. Like I say, the acceleration on Lozano was always kind of his feature that I always found to kind of be the proven thing. And to be honest, this card is definitely not disappointing. And I mean, the fact that he's an SBC that's coming in quite cheap, I'd 100% say at the very minimum for this guy, he has got to be a super sub on the team. The four star, five stars, always going to be very nice. And just to finish in dribbling alone is always a nice kind of uh, end to this sort of card. 
finds Lozano, tips it in on the far left, and it's a beautiful Hattie for this new striker. Coming in and doing the job nice and properly. Even enough to make this guy stop playing. You cannot hate on Lozano for this as he goes for the chip for Neuer. But most definitely, he has done a very, very valuable job here. Striking-wise, can't argue. Do we have a free kick? Ah, oh, he's going to be quitting anyway. But what a player. 8586. We'll go into the overall to see how much this SBC is coming at, as I think we might have the price by now. So, going into the overall, coming in at 200,000 coins. Honestly, not a bad little price. He's obviously had an 84 and an 87, as we can see. He started out as right wing, got a left wing in form. A right wing, was that? I want to say that's man of the match, unless that's the upgradable version for the Europa Conference or UEFA uh, Europa League. But we now have a 94 striker that blows all of them out the window. And to say you can get this 87 for... 27k i think 200 for the 94 striker really isn't a bad deal i think most definitely the spc is very feasible we have got upgrades tomorrow so that should be very easy to get that done with as little effort as possible and i just think he's definitely worth it you could put him down the spine napoli themselves have a lot of nice strikers uh strikers uh players in general Quillabali being one you've obviously got insignia as a left wing you then have another insignia if you really wanted to you have oshiman you then go a bit further down down with uh, Di Lorenzo then I think yeah you're going into the footmas cards then but then you go and go a kind of a broader field and you look at the Serie A there is countless amounts of very very nice Serie A players it's one of the ones that started off not very appealing really the gold cards didn't really shout to me but once they started getting specials, I think it's becoming one of the, the better leagues in terms of the amount of players that you can get from a Fio to a Tonali, a Liao, Barati. There's some very, very top-end players right here. In terms of Mexico, though, I don't know if we have a huge amount of variety there. I know, obviously, we have the icons. You have the goalkeeper, which hopefully we do get something like that as a hero shapeshifter. That would be so sick to see Campos as, like, a left wing or something. But we do have Alvarez. We have a Vela team in a season. Jimenez in the signature stars. Sign what is it? Uh, signature something. Can't remember what they're called. Oh, signature signings, of course. So you do have a few Mexicans that you can get into a team. Also, you have the Corona card as a center mid if you did want. So there is definitely a few cards that you could string together to make a Mexican team if you really wanted to. But I think most definitely for Lozano, it's going to be either linked with icons or some of the top end Serie A players. Definitely in the team of the season variety. Like I said, some very high rated cards that you can get into a team that really will do some damage. In regards to what you need to put on for, Le uh, for Lozano, I would definitely say Marksman has got to be the one. 98 shooting, 99 dribbling with the 85 physicality is definitely the one to go for. Like I said, if you can see the, the top end of this is absolutely incredible with how high rated it is. Even here you can see the Marksman is definitely the way to go. It's just basically maxing out everything that's nearly there to absolute max point so for me a solid card definitely worth doing at the very minimum even if it is tomorrow to get into your club and use as a super sub at the very minimum we've recently had quite a few forward players so i could understand if he's not necessarily getting into your uh, to your starting team but most definitely on the bench as an impact sub with a lot of pace and can be put anywhere up front from wing to striker to center forward maybe even to camp at some point so let me know down below what you think about lozano make sure you do like and subscribe to this video and i catch you all for the next one paces